Okay, let's do 1210B. So, XX Bombs Away XX made a video providing evidence suggesting that Jamatok and Midnight Light might both be accounts controlled by Farag, a Twower who placed 439. Now, I don't know if this is true or not, but having multiple accounts as contestants isn't really that bad of a crime, though I would like to discourage it. However, having multiple accounts for voting is definitely against the rules. I checked the Twow 10 raw votes for Midnight Light and Jamatok, and you can too, because they're in the description. And I don't see any votes that have only one letter, or come from accounts with no usernames, or anything else that would suggest they're from fake votes. But perhaps you guys can be better judges about that. To me, it seems like the voting cheating has died down. So on to the 10th twat. Wait, did I just try to combine Twow and Prompt into one word? I should never do that again. The 10th Twow prompt was, Make us feel sympathy for something we would otherwise never feel sympathetic towards. 43 contestants submitted entries, and 406 voters cast 545 votes. Before I show you the voting results, I need to tell you that I was dumb. When I entered in the 1210 entries, I forgot to check for quotation marks and question marks. So anytime those appeared in Twower's entries, they just didn't show up in the voting video. To be specific, Pinkfong Cupshot's Taupon H6427 and the Futech Hacker were the only Twowers to suffer this fate. And, like I promised, they'll get plus 5% boosts to compensate for this mistake. I'll try to avoid making this mistake in the future. Finally, we can reveal the Twowton results. The winner won with 71.52%, which is a pretty high score for this late in the game. To give you a sense of how spread out the results were, first place actually beat third place by almost 10%. And who was this clear winner of the pack? Well, they were also a winner of a previous Twow episode as well, which narrows it down quite a bit. That person is... Yasoin, who said, In chess, pawns cannot retreat, only charge to their decks. Congratulations, Yasoin! You seem to be good at winning 12 entries of Powers of 10, and your number of votes was also a power of 10. By the way, that's the second lowest out of all 1210 entries. The vote count ranged from 97 to 160. And although it is true that pawns are the most helpless chess pieces, they actually can retreat if they get promoted into queens at the end of the board. But that doesn't matter, because you're so in, you get the double response prize. Second and third place also get the prize, but who were they? Well, it's Midnight Light and Flareon the Flareon. Midnight Light used a pawn to get into the top 3, but did you know that in January, Antarctica's summer, the sun shines for 24 hours a day, giving us, well, Midnight Light? I wonder if that's a coincidence or not. And third, Flareon the Flareon talked about math textbooks having problems, which is similar to what John Petrucci did. Quinn Ruddy's response was also math-related, so that makes 30% of top 10 responses mentioning math. Hmm, do I still have to read all top 10 entries even though they don't all get a prize? Sure, I will. Sumner the Pie Guy described the horrible murders of glow sticks, but at least their torture ends. Riley reminds us of another consumer product, punching bags, which suffer indefinitely and are never put out of their misery. Tak Ajnin and Bean Me 100 both describe living creatures that suffer from human invasion. Some of the destruction is intentional, while some of it isn't. And finally, Lake Ramsey used a pun. But do salt shakers ever get charged with a pepper? I think we've got some condiment discrimination right here. So that's the top 10. Let's get on to the rest of the leaderboard. So out of the 43 living Twowers, the top 34 will survive and the bottom 9 will die. Best to keep it concise and not go overboard with analogies, right? Yeah. Let's see how everybody did. At this point, 22 hours have been declared safe, but 23 have not. And there's only a tragically low 14 safe spots left. Let's find out who made the cut and who did not.
Goodbye to Fry You AJ, John Dubuck, Nitro Ninja, Smileyworks Company, Chi Chi Knits, Tim Video 326, Animation Created, Lego TD61, and Ulysses Castillo. You people all brought so much to the Twilight table. We will feel sympathy for you as you leave, because unlike the objects you wrote about, you Twowers really do deserve sympathy. It was a fun run. Goodbye. Moving on, the most controversial response came from Joseph Howard again. But instead of involving cannibalism, this time it involved Swiper from Dora, swiping out of bad habits instead of malice. On the other end of the spectrum, Stalemate's response was both the least controversial and was just one spot away from elimination. Okay, so do you remember normalized ranks? That's where you take your ranks and divide them by the number of people still in. I brought them up in Twow 6A. Well, back then, just 5 Twows have passed. Now, 10 Twows have passed. So let's take a second look at them. Jamatok used to dominate the charts, but now we've got another clear leader, and that's Tak Ajnin. With the rest of the top 7 all fitting within 19-21%, to 21%, this backward ninja cat has separated from the pack at 14%, and Jamatok's still pretty high up there too, at 8th. And Christian Deweaver, you are now the efficiency champion, getting within 10% of elimination 4 times. If we sort by standard deviation, we see that not only does Tak Ashton have the best average, they've also got the lowest standard deviation, aka the most consistent. And Taupon H6427 is our wildest survivor. To summarize, here's who's still in and who's eliminated. If you're eliminated, you won't be able to send me any more responses for upcoming Twow Season 1 prompts. Now it's time to dive right into Twow 11. What's the Twow 11 prompt? Well, remember, each of Twow 9's top tenors submitted a word to create a collaborative prompt. In particular, Spicy Man had quite a complicated request. And by the way, if your goal was to be time consuming, it didn't quite work that way because I did it all in under a minute. The words extinguished. So what do you think the whole Twow 11 prompt is? Let's see. Why do, insane, commenters, like to, Fashionably, extinguish, shiny, cowards, but don't like to, quietly, consume, hysterical, cats. So there you go, Twowers. It might not make the most sense, but you should still try to come up with the most meaningful, clever, amazing, and hysterical answers to this perplexing question. Submit your responses, which must be 10 words or fewer, to me by April 25, 2016 at 10pm UTC. Yasoin, Midnight Light, and Flareon the Flareon, you get to submit two responses, as if dealing with this monstrosity once wasn't enough. In 1211A, the voters will vote on these responses, and in 1211B, the top three will get the double response prize, while the bottom 20% will be eliminated. See you then!